is uh, 2D, yeah, 2D. Based on 2D, write the words. Um, in the morning. Evening. That's not a big. What are you guys talking Which one? Hey, teacher. Hey. So, Hi, teacher. Why well, no, you? We, we we are pro, we we are talking about the 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 homework. I have problems with that with the section two. Which one? Let me pull it up. Right now. Section two. Yeah. Section two. For example, yeah. In, in, in the in the part two. Have we done it? <laughs> Have we done it yet? In class, no. I I I try I try I'm trying to do I have I have I have made by myself. I have problems in the two, 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 three, and uh and, and yeah, two, two and two, three. But where are you? 1.6, 1.7, what lesson? No, in, no, in, the, in the section two. You're in uh, section two already. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Two. Let's finish section one today. And okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, cool. Class, is it me <clears throat> or it was very hot today? It's very hot. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. And it was this. I actually have to turn on the air conditioning for my car now. All right, so everyone's here. All right, I went the same page here. Where? Can you see my page? Where, where? Yes. Okay. So yesterday we did how typical are you, right? And then um, about Yoshiko, Renato, and Suzanne, correct? Yeah. Now in this lesson, 1.6, the class, um, in this class, participants will learn Practice using items with keep and stay. All right. These two words are very similar, but very different. These two verbs. Okay, so let's do them right now. Where is everyone today? Hmm. Hmm. We are one, two, four. No. Can you excuse me one minute? I'll be back. Hold on. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so let's start doing the video. The difference between keep and stay or expressions using keep and stay. Okay, let's do it. 
Hello, the following expressions will help you express your ideas better. Stay connected, stay awake, keep up with, keep in touch. Expressions with keep and stay. Keep or stay in touch. Keep things in perspective. Stay awake. Keep up with. Keep or stay out of trouble. Keep something up. Keep or stay in touch. Take turns answering these questions. Type your answers on our discussion box. Then talk to your classmates in class. When friends move away, do you keep or stay in touch? When you're stressed, can you keep things in perspective? After studying all night, how do you stay awake in class? Do you ask for help if it is hard to keep up with a class? Do you break the rules or do you keep or stay out of trouble? What can students do to keep their grades up? Is it important for all friends to keep or stay in touch? in perspective away do you in class stay in touch sorry i was speaking on mute <laughs> um Keep and stay. These are called phrasal verbs. Do you know what is a phrasal verb? Hello? It's a verb plus a particle. It's a verb and a preposition. For example, look, keep in touch, stay in touch. Keep in, stay in, it's a phrasal verb because it's a verb and a preposition. Okay, one thing, one very, very important thing. The, this only exists in English. Because if you translate this to Spanish, stay es quedarse, en es adentro, quedarse adentro, it makes no sense. <clears throat> Esto es bien propio del idioma, okay? This doesn't exist in Spanish. Yeah, but uh, let's keep in touch and let's stay in touch is, is the same. It's the same. Keep in, stay in touch. Yes. Who here, who here stays in touch with an ex-girlfriend or boyfriend? Uh, uh, uh. Nobody? Yeah, sometimes, yeah, I right know. Look at your Dana, she's smiling. <laughs> Personally, I, I, I think it's kind of difficult, but um, there are some people that are friends with their ex. Yeah, but it, it, it depends how was uh, that relation. Of so course. It was, it was just with hands in the mind. <laughs> I think it's more common to stay like, I think it's, it's more common to stay in touch with your ex-wife than your ex-girlfriend. I don't know why. I mean, I don't know. I only been married one time in my life, but I see people that they're very good friends with their ex-wife or ex-husbands, but not with your ex-girlfriend. <laughs> in that case, because maybe they are a child inside. Right? They are children inside. Maybe, maybe, yes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, yeah. Jordana, do you keep in touch with your ex? Just with one of them. Okay. Good. Yes. Yeah. I mean, but keep in touch is like, you know, maybe you have them on Facebook and, hey, hi, how are you? Every now and then, you know, hi, how are you? Yeah, once in a while, maybe, and I remember. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. What about you, Giovanni? Do you keep in touch with your high school friends? <laughs> I I used to, but not anymore. Yeah? yeah. Right. One month ago. <laughs> 
One month ago, you stopped. Yeah. Why? Because I was forced to. <laughs> you were what? I was forced. You were forced to stop with hang yeah. with them. You know, police here. <laughs> what happened? What, what do you mean? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So oh. you were showed like that. You will show that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that letter oh, okay, in so front of you that. <laughs> Maybe the okay. I think I get it now. <laughs> yeah. Yes, somebody yeah. will. <laughs> somebody may be angry <laughs> if he says yeah. something. Oh, else. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Hang out. Do you yeah. see what I put on the chat? Hang out. Yeah. yeah. Hang out. Hang out is another is another phrasal verb. Hang out. Hang Okay, like I told you, this does not exist in Spanish. These are, this are actual, these are actually called idioms. Yeah. Because, uh, uh, but uh, uh, hang out is like the greasy. No, actually, like uh, what happened to Giovanni? You know, he used to hang out with his friends. Now he can't. <laughs> <clears throat> hang out, <clears throat> hang out is this. I'm going to call my friend. Hey, Jonas, Jonas, what's up? But I can say, yeah, okay, I'll go. Let's hang out. It's Remember? Like, it's like, for example, let, let, let's hang out. Yes, let, like, let's do something or okay, nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, remember you in, in high school or university, you had a group of friends that you stayed maybe in, I don't know, Mahina or, or a tree <clears throat> to smoke cigarettes, maybe just hang out. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like just passing the time. Yeah, chilling. Yeah, chilling. Uh, that's, that's hang out. Yes. I used to like, I used to hang out with my friends, but not anymore. I enjoy, I, I, I rather I rather either sleep mm -hmm. or watch movies. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's keep in keep in touch keep in touch. In touch. También hoy como todo es abreviado, like in and and you know like the L O L L O L. Um. OMG. What's L O L? Okay, watch. Check this out. Or S app. Yeah. Who can understand that? Oh uh, my God, good to see you. Keep in touch, okay? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my God! Good to see you. Yeah, that, that's I, yeah. Keep uh, in touch. Okay. Yeah. Uh, LOL. What does that mean? A lot of laugh. Uh, A lot of laugh, right? It's actually laugh out loud. Out loud. Laugh out loud. Yeah. Laugh out loud is ah 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 ah. You know. Out loud, mm -hmm. laugh out loud. Uh, uh, out. Me too. I thought I thought it was loud of laugh too, but it's actually laugh out loud. Out loud. <clears throat> so you can always say, "Hey, all right, man." E I T. Remember, okay. Mm -hmm. Keep in touch. Do you know this one? Which one? Uh, no. No, it's not like that. Sorry, it's TTL. Yeah. TTL. Uh, can you say it in a sentence? Well, it's like talk to you later. Oh yeah, talk to you later. <laughs> I, I like this one. I like this one. Look. I recently find out about it. I like this one. Like something. Take SMH. My head. 
Yeah. What is it? Shake my head. It's like, oh man. Shake my head. <laughs> <laughs> like when you see the feminist, the um la protesta que hicieron the protest. Mm -hmm. My vagina is public or, or something, but I'm like, oh. what? <laughs> Shake my head. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shake my head. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, they, they put they they wrote something in in um in the Teatro Nacional, I think. I forget what is it that they wrote. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> they wrote something very stupid. I was like, oh my god. Amazing. Okay. <clears throat> so that's stay in, keep in touch. Y miren, y hay muchos phrasal verbs. Keep things in perspective. Keep in. Keep in. Keep, keep. Mm. keep things in perspective, okay? Here, le voy a hacer otra que no está aquí. Look. Keep on. Keep on. You know what is keep on? Yes, to continue? Yes. There's a famous song from the classic rock. Keep I'm on. gonna keep on loving you. Keep on. Yes. <clears throat> keep on is to continue. Yes. Like, remember, keep on studying. Keep on going. Keep on dancing. Ah, oh, come on, Gio, you stop, man. Come on, man. Keep on drinking. <laughs> yeah. You know how people say, hey, ya lleva una hora con ese trago, man. Come on. Keep on, <clears throat> keep on drinking. Already. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. So that's keep on is to continue, right? Do you understand keep on, Rosa? Yes, I understand. Okay, Yanira, Michelle. Keep on moving, for example, in a song. Yes. There is a song. Yeah, that's true. Keep on moving. Remember when you were a little kid and you break up with your girlfriend for the first time? It's, I don't care, but I'm going to keep on loving you <laughs> for the rest of my life. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's keep on, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> Next we have keep up. Sorry, David, you yes. can use the keep with, without the the end, just with a, like, keep swimming? It, it would actually be keep on swimming. It's People say keep swimming, but it's yeah. actually keep on because it's a phrasal verb. Because uh, just keep, what does just keep means? Only keep. Do you know what that means? Yeah, it's like to take one thing um, from inside something. No, okay. Keep is this. Look. Keep. Hey, hey, let me see your pen, please. Oh, here. Um, you know, here's my pen, right? Okay, here. Um, Ama, no, keep it. Keep. Um, no, it's okay. Keep it. I understand. Okay. Yes. Like, um, keep it, it's yours. Yeah, I, I just ask him because I, I heard it in, in some movies. It's true, it's true, but grammatically, it's not correct. It's keep on because that, that's what is a phrasal verb. Keep is a verb, it's get at the law, keep on is continue. So, if you say keep swimming. Mm -hmm. Yes, people will say it, but it's actually keep on. Okay. Y te voy a dar un perfecto ejemplo. Que a veces hay cosas malas en, en, en grammatically in songs. Do you know Queen? Queen? Yes. Yeah. Remember that song? D-O-L, D-O, I get so lonely, lonely, yeah. It was a pop song. 
Sometimes I think I'm gonna break down and cry. I get long. But he says, I ain't. I ain't got no time for no monkey business. I ain't got no time for no monkey business. What is what is what is right there? Uh, is that correct? I, 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 he, he has not the time. <laughs> well, first of all, do you understand the monkey business? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. What, what is monkey business? Something, things, uh, not good things, like los abajo de agua, digamos. <laughs> Kind of, like kind of. Use, use, uh, useless? Yes, something okay. useless. It's like when you go when you go to a place, like, like a reunion, and like, oh man, come on, this is monkey business. Mm. This is stupid. This has no, <laughs> this is monkey business. Okay. It's like you're doing nothing. Would there be a word in Spanish for monkey business? No de de tiempo. That's monkey business. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah, that would be the most correct. But why is this wrong? I ain't, you, you remember that song, right? I ain't got no time for no monkey business. The yo Adam. The yo Adam. Why is this wrong? Double negative. Triple negative. Yes. <laughs> this is a very, very big mistake. Look, I ain't one negative. Not I ain't no monkey. No monkey <laughs> business, yeah. Negative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know it's la mara cinema, you know that hey, is correct, but it's not. So actually the correct here, I ain't got time for monkey business. <laughs> But people say it. So yeah, good question, Giovanni. You know, people, you say, yeah, hey, you heard this before. Yeah, maybe it's correct, but it's always good to know the grammatical. <laughs> the grammatical. <laughs> yeah. Milagro Jordana no ha buscado la canción. <laughs> <laughs> but I imagine, yeah. And you know that's that's one thing I was I was actually thinking about that song once because I was driving, and I was listening to it on the radio. I'm like, I ain't got no time for no monkey. Hey, that's bad. <laughs> that's not correct. That's that's grammatically wrong. <clears throat> okay, so um, so imagine three negatives, and Mr. Freddie Mercury from England, like. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's, um, so you, we understand keep on, right? What is keep up? Keep up with. Yeah. Keep I'm sorry? To be up to date. Okay, that's good. One up to date. What else? Who can give me an example? Give me give me this example in um in a sentence. I have heard keep up with the good work. Okay, keep up with the good word. Good work. What does that mean? It means to continue doing do an excellent job or a great job. Okay. What else? What else? What? What else? I'm, I'm sorry. Or? Like another example. Oh, another example. <laughs> okay. Let me let me give you a um, maybe it's a, it's a little stupid example, but it happens. Remember, remember. Did you ever have a friend that drinks a lot in a party or in a reunion? But he drinks like boom, boom, boom. You can't keep up with him. 
Like maybe I'm drinking one beer, you have a four. Like, hey, dude. Like, hey, so come on, come on, man. No, I, I, I like to enjoy this. And my second beer, he already has 10. You know, and you say, no, man, I can't keep up with him. He's crazy. He sings too much. Or he drinks too much. Yes. Um, Giovanni, maybe you and your band, maybe, um, I guess, musicians. You say, come on, keep up with me. Like, I don't know, the guitarist with the drummer. Keep up is like stay in my in my in my level. Yeah, maybe in the in the intensity of or tune. Yeah, I was I was reading the um. Oh, keep up with that riff. <laughs> yes, what is the name? Peter Sandoval, right? Peter Sandoval. Yeah. Pete Sandoval. He was. I don't know if he continues, but he was a drummer for Morbid Angel. And yeah. class, yeah, and he, he he was he is from El Salvador, Pete Sandoval, right? So okay. I was I was reading his Wikipedia, and they and um, this man he is extremely fast in the drums. Yeah, and I was reading in his in, in his Wikipedia that his bandmates they told him, "Hey, we found somebody who plays faster than you." But they actually did it on a on a computer. They did the sample, the drums, and a computer, mm -hmm. and then they put him the tape or the CD, and he listened to it, and he couldn't keep up. But he worked very hard, and he actually did it. But he passed out. <laughs> so my yours, it's it's funny. It's in the it's it's in the Wikipedia. Because he was so like, oh no, I have to. So he actually played faster than the computer because he says he couldn't oh. keep up. Yeah, it was crazy. But and they said he that died he died in the. No, no, he passed out. Like uh, he fainted. Oh. Okay. Fainted. But he, he got like, oh no, I have to play faster than this. That was. <laughs> yeah, then and his bandmates said they were just doing a, a prank. Like, man, because he's crazy. And. Right. Yeah, he's 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 a very good drummer. So that's keep up, right? Okay. Can you give me an example with keep up, Yanira? Remember, this can be this can be affirmative or negative. Sorry, teacher. I, I didn't understand because I was driving. I oh, was okay. at, at when you were explaining that. Okay, keep up is it's pretty much being the same level with somebody. And maybe yes, you, you can use keeping. Up. Oh yeah, you, you you can use you can use this in, in present progressive and past in any in any tense. But you would always use keep up, mm -hmm. up. Yeah, because I, I heard it too. <laughs> the keeping up. Oh, please don't mention Kardashians. What? <laughs> oh, God, you watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Who's the Kardashians, by the way? Oh. <laughs> you don't know who the Kardashians are? No. I don't believe you. You know who Camilo was? Camilo Sesto. No, the other singer. No, I don't The know. reggaeton singer. What? No, yeah, I remember. Is... I remember you told us from who is Camilo, and you told me he was a pop singer in this moment, and no. you know that because of I your job. About Camilo, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, uh, yeah. So, um, Yanira, keep up is to be at the same level. Like, do you have a friend, Yanira, a friend that maybe reads very fast? What is? No, I can understand. Remember, remember, uh, in somebody who reads very fast, like um, oh, okay, yes. they're like blah, 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 and you say, "Hey, dude, wait, wait, I can't keep up with you." Ah, uh, okay. Is they at the same level? Yes. Or be, be the same. Yeah, keep up is to be at that level. Yes. Um, so imagine, Yanira, imagine you want to start doing exercise yes you want to start running but you don't run 
<clears throat> but now you want to start running. And okay. you decide to go running with Jordana. But Jordana has been running for two years. Ah, uh, we are so, doing the same. Yeah, so then, you know, you start, boom, 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 boom. Like five minutes later, you're... <gasps> <laughs> and Jordana's like, come on, come on, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. And you say, man, I can't keep up with you. Mm. Oh, okay. I can't keep up with you. Okay. You, have, yes. you have two years yes. experience. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes, I, I understand. Okay. Yeah. So those, those are the phrasal verbs. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can't oh. say, uh, keep up when you have the same salary with your co-workers? Good question. Because remember when you say keep up, it's an action, you, it's, you're actually doing an action. Um, you're doing an action. But in this case, salary is not an action, it's just, because listen, keep up, mm -hmm. you keep up with an action. And salary is not an action. It's a, it's a depression. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, keep up okay. is is with with somebody who is doing an action. Like I can't keep up with Yanita. She runs too fast. I can't keep up with uh, Wicho. He drinks too much. Yes. I can't keep up with. With my friend, he 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 reads very fast. Yes, keep up. Yeah. Okay. Next, we have keep out, stay out, stay out of trouble. Take turns answering these Oops, questions. Sorry. Keep up, uh, keep out of, keep out of trouble, class. Stay out of trouble. Okay. So that's the expression. Okay. Stay out of. Okay. These questions. The, well, Type your answers on these questions. These questions. Yeah, I can't, these I questions. can't move it. Type your answers on our discussion box. These. These. Uh, oh man, this thing is going crazy. I can't keep up with it. <laughs> Dude, it went crazy. Look, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know something scary happened today? <laughs> well, it's not that, that it's scary. Is crazy. <laughs> it is crazy, yes. But but anyways, what we saw the, with the, machine, the, with the We saw the video. It is hacking your 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 machine right now. Your your neighbor. Neighbor, I was thinking about. Yeah, stop, neighbor. <laughs> you know today, you know how um, something very strange has this ever happened to you? Um, have you ever spoken about something and then suddenly what you were talking about appears in YouTube as a suggestion? Yeah, and it happens with Google. And yes. Facebook. Yes, they listen to you, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally. Look, mm -hmm. like if you if you my my list of, of of um YouTube is like only music and bleepy because my son watches bleepy on on on, yeah, on the TV, know. right? <laughs> yeah. I actually like Bleepy. Now. You should watch Bleepy in English. You know, it's very good and see if you understand them. But today, okay. my son, my son, he accidentally, um, he accidentally threw the the tablet on my eye. Like, oh, it, it, I don't know, but it was so perfect because the coroner actually hit my eye. And it was like a perfect it was perfect like boom like I had my eye open and it actually hit my eye right so I was oh and I got scared because I actually felt that my eye moved well anyways and then my wife told me what happened what happened oh man my eye oh 
and then I couldn't see. I, you know, I saw like little lights and everything. And then, and then I had to be careful because my son started crying. You know, I said, "No, no, baby, it was a, it was a, an accident." But anyway, so we continued watching YouTube, and then suddenly, el ori, eh, ¿cómo decía? ¿Qué tenemos en los ojos? Like, holy man, <laughs> like. <laughs> How, how did this happen? <laughs> like, yeah, like suddenly that just appeared out of out of the blue. <laughs> you know what? What we have? How our eye works? Mm. Yeah. That's why. That's why it's very stupid that people think that the vaccines they're actually inserting a chip on you and et cetera, et cetera. It's like no man, Facebook. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's up? They have our all our information. Yes. That would be very cool to be working in the in the secret service, listening to the, all the WhatsApp calls. <laughs> <laughs> when yes. I, I don't know if I told you, but when I used to work in Dell, we used to sell computers in this call center, and they told us not to use bomb. The word bomb mm -hmm. or the president's name or press or, or like keywords because every call is being recorded in the United States, every call. But there's an automatic system that when you mention bomb, um, Obama, Bin Laden, whatever, automatically those calls are, are like separate. And then they will be audited. They will listen to you. So they told us, you know, try not to use those words for any reason. <laughs> yeah, there's the, the CIA, the, the Central Intel Intelligence Agency. They will audit those calls. It's cool, huh? I recommend you to watch. I, I just finished it today. There's a. Do you know Borat? Borat. Yeah. He actually there's a there's a, a mini series. It's only six episodes. Se llama El Espía, in Netflix. Mm. It's good. It's a true story. It was a true story about a spy from Israel. That he goes to Syria. Dicen que el mejor espía del mundo, logros. Man, it's, it's very good how they trained him and how he went to be one of them. <clears throat> it, it's very good. You should watch it. And it's a real, it's a true story, what happened. I'm not going to tell you what happened at the end because. Don't give us spoilers. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's, it's very, very good. It's Cohen about the spy Cohen. And what I, what I like to do is that after I watch a series like that, I go to Google, uh, to, to YouTube, and then, you know, read a little bit, uh, find out a little bit more about that story. And it always is a comedy. No, no, it's not comedy, it's drama. Uh, That's why it's strange to see him yeah. in a drama. I, yeah. <laughs> but it, it's a very good, it, it's, it's like Jim Carrey, that you see he's a comedian, but he's a very good drama actor too. Yeah, Brad, Brad, what? No, his his name is Sasha. Sasha, uh -huh. Sasha Cohen, I think. But okay. the name of the of the mini series is The Spy. Okay. It's very good. If if you know how sometimes hey, no tengo nada que ver, you know, like what do I watch? Watch that. It's only six episodes. It's, it was a very good series, mm -hmm. and it was a true story. It's it's crazy what what he did. Okay, so uh, wait, we did we did this yesterday. This is the video that went crazy. Mm -hmm. And used to and would. Okay, so we understand the keep on, right? Yeah. Listen, every time you see a verb with a preposition and you don't know what it is, it's a phrasal verb. Like Called off. Who? This is this is what happened. This is what people do. What all this? Yeah, 
off, es apagar. All off, apagar. ¿Qué es eso? Verb plus preposition, phrasal verb. Es a phrasal verb. Okay. Entonces, lo que tiene que saber, nada que ver con el verbo. So, call off is actually cancel. Call off. Yes. It's like, oh, man, um, hey, se enteraron, what, what happened? Christina called off the wedding. Really, why? Because she discovered her boyfriend with her sister. <laughs> I don't know, some stupid oh. thing. Yeah, but entonces, obviously, when she saw it, oh, no, she called off the wedding. But then that's that's what I'm saying. So if you see, Christina called off the wedding. It's called off. If you relate to it, translating, it will make no sense. Yes? So, aquí no hay forma de saber qué significan solo San Google. Mm -hmm. Lo que sí les recomiendo es quizás busquen los, los, más, los más usados. Call off. Well, pick up. Pick up is a phrasal verb. Okay. Yes, I'm going to pick up my friend. I'm going to pick up my mother. I'm going to pick up my father at the supermarket. Okay? So, let's do the next lesson so we can finish lesson one. It says... At the end of the sec section, participants will be able to practice using used to, used to, and would. Look, class, keep in mind the D here. Used to. Used to. Yes. It's a, little, it's a little difficult to pronounce used to because. But remember, there's a D right there. Hi, what did you used to do when you were a child? Did you used to play with dolls or marbles? Past habitual with used to and would. Used to and would can both be used to describe past actions or situations which are no longer true. However, would cannot be used with a stated verb such as live, be, have, or like. You always used to make me laugh. Classes didn't used to be so difficult. Remember the way we would sit around talking? I would see some great jacket, but you wouldn't let me buy it. If the sentence is affirmative use, used to. Example, I used to get up at seven every morning. If the sentence is negative, use didn't plus used to or would plus not. Examples, I didn't used to oversleep so often. I wouldn't oversleep so often. Both used to and would can express an action that was repeated regularly in the past, but only used to can be used to describe a situation that existed in the past. You know, I would play with Barbie dolls when I was little. Share in our discussion box things that you used to do when you were a child. Okay, let's see if what here one more time. negative, use didn't plus used to or would plus not. Examples, I didn't use Hold on, let me talking. see here, please. I would see some great jacket, but you wouldn't let me buy it. If the sentence is affirmative, use used to. Example, I used to get up at seven every morning. If the sentence is negative, use didn't plus used to or would plus not. Examples, I didn't used to oversleep so often. I wouldn't oversleep so often. Both used to and would can express an action that was repeated regularly in the past, but only used to can be used to describe a situation that existed in the past. Okay, let's do this, look. One thing, this action, we're talking about the past, okay? This is the past, but remember, this action happened more than one time. It happened in a regular activity. So if you went to Disneyland when you were a little kid, 
only one time, aquí no va. I used to go to Disneyland. Because that only happened one time. Unless you're rich, you know. I used to go to Disneyland every year. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> okay, so these are actions that you did in the past in a regular activity or seldomly, but you did it. Okay, for example, Eduardo, what did you use to eat in school? What I did eat. your wait? Hold on. What did your mother used to put in your food in school? Mm, a bread. No, a but, bread. but answer complete. Answer complete. She okay. used. Okay, okay, good. She used to put me uh, bread with with ham and cheese. With ham and cheese, very good. Yeah. All right, Giovanni. How much money did your parents used to give you for school? Uh, I remember it was. They used to I, give me. To give me. Um, 50, 50 cents. Uh, colones or, or dollars? Colones. Wow. They used, to, time. <laughs> they used to give you 50 cents in colones. Wow. Yeah. And what did you used to buy with that? Mm. Uh, cookies and la gloopy. Gloopies, gloopies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> cool, nice. Michelle, tell me. Hi, Michelle. Are you married? I'm... No, I'm single. Okay, then I'm going to ask Jordana that question. Okay, so uh, <laughs> Michelle, what what did you used to do on the weekends when you were in high school? Um, I used to do homework. <laughs> really, on the weekends? Yes, I didn't have uh, much time on the week, so I I did all the homework on on weekends. I used to do all the homework. Wow. Good, good girl. All right. What about you, Jordana? What did you used to do when you were single? And now you don't. Now I don't. Well, I think I almost keep on doing the same things as before, really? but the only thing that I could think about is that I used to go to discotheque. To dance. Okay. Okay, good. I used to go to discotheques. Good. Now, I wonder how to use wood and what could be the meaning on it. That's, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to finish used to, then we'll do wood. Okay. Rosa. Hi. Hi. Did you used to watch telenovelas? Not really. I oh, didn't yeah. used to watch TV. Um, I mean, I didn't watch TV. Used to watch TV at night. Oh, yeah? Okay. You know, I used to watch all of the telenovelas with my grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> so that, I wa I I is. watched I watched Quinceañera, Topacio, Oyuki. I I watched them all. <laughs> yeah, with my grandmother. <laughs> Jaime. Hello, Jaime. What did you used to watch when you were a little kid? I used to play soccer with my my brother. Oh, okay, good. But the question was, what did you used to watch, not play? So, but it's okay. I used to play soccer with my brother. And uh, Janira. I used to watch cartoons. All right. And, um, no 
novelas with my mom too. Oh yeah, you watch you used to watch novelas? Yeah. Yeah. I remember, I remember Oyuki. 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 Oh, Yuki. Yeah, yes. Oyuki. <clears throat> yes, I remember then and then when my mother used to come in, my, my grandmother said, Oh my god, pretend pretend you're sleeping. <laughs> 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 okay, so that's used to. But the difference between I used to and I would. Let me give you that example. When I was a little kid, I used to watch the telenovelas with my grandmother. If you notice, I gave the complete history, the complete story. Mm -hmm. When you say I would, you just give, when I was a little kid, I would watch telenovelas. Yes. Jordana, when she was single, she would go to discotheques. Or when, Jord when Jordana was younger, she would go to discotheques. So when you say it's, it's the same, I used to and I would. But when you say I would, you just leave it simple. Okay, and the verb goes in base form. Always, would very good, yes. I would go, I would eat, I would, yes? Okay, even if in a negative, it will be the same. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. yes. Okay. Like when I was a little kid, I would like uh, Brooke Shields. Remember Blue Lagoon? Yeah. Man, that was beautiful. Yes. I would love her. <laughs> Yes, mm -hmm. or I could say I used to like Brooke Shields when I was a little kid. Or I would like Brooke Shields when I was a kid. So Giovanni, can you give me the same example with, um, it instead of saying I used to, uh, my parents used to give me 50 cents when I when I went to school. Can you, would, it would? It would, yes. Um, my father's. My parents. And my parents used to give me. Would give me. Would give me. Uh, my father would give me 50 cents when I was a kid. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, so it's the same. I would go, I used to go. I would go, I used to go. Okay. But okay. used to is more used in this. Okay. So if you ask me, so I would actually say I used to, okay? When I was a little kid, I used to be terrible in school. I used to be very, very bad in school. I used to do bad things, like Bart Simpson bad things. <laughs> so that's why now when I see my son, I see my wife, I only laugh because <laughs> that's funny, but yeah, it's bad. You know, you know what I used to do? If you want to do a trick on your friends in the office, maybe. I used to get the Oreo cookies, open it, eat the cream, and put toothpaste. Oh, God. Close it. <laughs> yeah, do that and put it in your desk. Simply, hey, that man. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah, I used to, I don't know why I used to do many bad things. My sister suffered a lot with me. Mm -hmm. I used to put powder, powder in her blow dryers. Ah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But my, but my mom used to hit me. <laughs> So, okay, so that's the difference between I used to and I would, yes? Um, Eduardo, remember what Jaime said he would do with his brother when he was a kid? Soccer. Play soccer. Uh, okay, uh, Jaime used to play soccer with, with his brother. 
Yes. Okay, Jaime used to play soccer with his brother, or Jaime would play soccer with his brother. But I think some fans there used to. Yeah, used to. Would, I think would, I think most there, for example, if you were, if you, for example, if you were here, I would play soccer with you. Exactly. If you were here, oh yeah, but I used to have a lot of conditionals. If you okay. were, if I were. Okay. okay. Yeah, I for me it sounds very useful. Yes. Look at what it says here. Both used to and would can express an action was repeated regularly in the past. Only used to can be to describe a situation that existed in the past. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, so when you yeah, it's not, it's not so it's the same. So when you're saying used to, you're being you're describing more the situation. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, when I was a little kid, I used to. I used to buy gloopies and put them in the freezer and wait for them to freeze and then eat them. Or. When I was a little kid, I would eat frozen gloopies. Do you see the difference? Mm -hmm. Yes. Jordana, do you see the difference? I was more specific with used to, right? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Or you can say, when I was a little kid, I would buy gloopies and put them in the freezer and wait for them to freeze and eat them. But <laughs> Would look more more for the future. Yes, with, with wood you're being <clears throat> you're being more simple. Like mm -hmm. when I was a little kid, I like Giovanni. Like do you, when I was a little kid, I would buy loopies and cookies. And could you say that would would be uh, informal? And informal? No, no. Actually, they're both formal. In this case, they're both formal. Good question. When I was younger, I used, I would like mini vanilli. Mm -hmm. Blame it on the rain, yay. Everybody like mini vanilli or no? Yeah. I still like them. I, <laughs> I still like them. All right. Um, I used to, well, okay, listen to this example. I used to like Coldplay. The band Coldplay, I used to like them when they Not were. Anymore. Huh? Not anymore? No, I don't like them anymore. They're they're very pop now. They're like they're like a boy band now. But at the first albums, they were indie rock, but they were they were good, but not anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I was a little kid, I used to like. There's a lot of. I used to. I used to watch wrestling, and I still do. I still do. Yeah. Oh, when I was a little kid, I used to go to church with my grandmother. I used to say all the psalm, psalm, and psalm, psalm, psalm uh -huh. ninety-one. Yeah. And then now I don't, I don't remember anything. <laughs> but th those are the things that, you know. Excuse me? Don't you remember or don't you like? No, you know, like if, if you read to me the psalm, maybe there are some things that I would remember because my, my grandmother, she would make me say it every night before I go to sleep. Yeah. Every night. Entire psalm? Yes, the entire one. But I was like seven or eight. And um, maybe, maybe because of my grandmother was my experience about me not liking church. Because my, my grandmother, she's so beautiful. She was like my mother. <laughs> but I remember one time I had a stomach ache. <laughs> I had a very big stomach ache and um, my, my grandmother, she was evangelist, but like deep, deep evangelist. And uh, so one time in, in my stomach ache, um, I woke up and I had a lot of people with their hands on my stomach praying like, 
And then I remember this person screaming. <clears throat> but I remember I opened my eyes. I don't know. It was a, I didn't like that experience. I, I understand my grandmother. She her good she had good intentions, you know. Oh, my son is sick. But for me, it was like a scary experience to see all these people touching my stomach and crying. I I I don't know why, but I do remember that very vivid. I remember the faces. So after I was it was actually a scary, <laughs> a scary experience. So much. Yeah, it was. But you know, my grandmother was it was it, she had good intentions. But I remember I was looking at everyone like, what the hell are they doing? Mm -hmm. I was mute. I couldn't speak. I remember I just saw people and wow. you know how how some people scream in in, in the street and that's how they were screaming, touching my stomach. And maybe maybe I only had a simple stomach ache. But I used to I, I used to know the whole Psalm 91 and I don't know what other I used to know two full Psalms, but now I don't. When I was um Jordana, what I meant to tell you is when I was single, yeah, I used to enjoy my my day off doing nothing it's like waking up maybe I, I used to wake up at five in the morning always because automatically but I used to go back to sleep at seven in the morning and then I used to wake up again and do nothing no cooking nothing you know order food watch 10 movies if possible take a shower at 3 p.m go back to sleep, watch more movies, order more food. For me, that was the perfect day off. Now I will never have that again. <laughs> I will never have that again because, I, I mean, I'm happy now. I'm happy. But now my, my day off is watching Bleepy. <laughs> because when I want to watch it, Bleepy, Bleepy, come on. And I'm watching... Leapy, 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 starts crying like, okay, leapy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's what I used to do when I was younger, when I was single. Yes. Everybody, we used to do something. When you were single, Gio, what, what, what did you used to do? Or do you still do the same things? When I was single, I, I used to. Yeah, I remember I, I used to, to ride BMX. Oh yeah, you were a biker. Yeah, yeah, I got my medals. <laughs> oh, you did? No. Did you ever break yourself? Uh, no. Wow. Oh, I don't. Cool. And I remember we we are the San Salvador team in that time. Uh huh. Yeah, and uh, there was a um. How do you say a na pista? How do you say that? Yeah. Good call. Let, wait, let me remember and I will tell you. Yeah. By and, back range. I will remember. Where? In Los Planes? No. Uh, th that was the second one. The first one I remember was in front. Um, now is the, this hotel um, in the Lucero? There's there's a hotel down down the street. Oh, Intercontinental. Uh huh. The World yeah. Trade Center. Yeah, yeah. The the place where where the World Trade Center is now, there was the the. the yeah, we got the track. The track. Yeah, it could be a bike track, bike path. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and and. and do you remember that soda Oranjal? Yeah. That was our sponsor. <laughs> the Oranjal? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, I remember one time my uncle, he told me, hey, anda comprarme dos Oranjales. And I actually went and I brought him two Oranjales, but he says, stupid, man. I said, Pilsener, así le decían, right? <laughs> it was the same color bottle. <laughs> yeah. But you know, hey, dos oranjales and meant two pilsoners. But I, 
I brought it to it on Hande, so I remember that. Dark brown bottle. Yeah. I remember out on Hande. Okay, yeah. so that's the difference between used to and I would is the same. Yeah. Just I would is like. So everything, everything Giovanni just told us, if he was to say would, he says, ah, oh, I would ride bikes. Mm -hmm. But if he wants to, if he wants to give a little more, more, um, specific, more details, detail. yeah, I used to ride bikes by the Lucero Circle and Escalon. There used to be a bike uh, range in there, and we used to practice there. And uh, Oranjal used to sponsor us, et cetera, et cetera. See, you're being more specific. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, class, then I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow's Wednesday, right? Yes. yes. Okay, we'll continue with that, okay? Have a great, great Thanks. Tuesday. Take a shower if you can because it's so hot, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye-bye, class. Bye-bye, yeah, man. Bye.